previously on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Grandma, can I get some soup? Holy crap, what are you doing in my home? Grandma, it's me. Just take the money and get out. Grandma, we don't have any money, all right? Don't lie to me. Oh, it really used you, Link. Yes. And now for the finale to... Hey, Link, do you like boats? Do I like boats? Yeah. Do I like boats? Yeah. Holy shit, I love boats. I'm definitely a sailboat kind of guy. My favorite is probably the schooner. Catches are great too. It's just not the same configuration appeal. Unless you're into racing then. Whoa. This boat's okay. You know, it's not terrible. It's not great. It's just okay. And in some ways, that's the worst kind of boat. It's boring. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here, let me show you some pics of my yacht. You haven't seen a great yacht until you've seen my yacht. Somebody help me. Look at this pristine baby. I call this the Red Lion. God, is he wonderful. Are you jealous? I think you're jealous. Don't you see? I love motherfucking boats. Boats, 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 boats. Okay, boats. okay. Holy crap, dude. Take it down a few notches. Jesus. You ass. A yes or no answer would have sufficed. Help. B. Back with some more The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. When we last left off, we completed our search for the last piece of the Triforce that just followed us going all over that goddamn place. Get on a ghost ship, hook shotting up some trees, fighting an absolutely endless wave of fucking enemies. Actually, that wasn't even for a Triforce piece. That was for a stupid mask that lets me see enemies HP, which by the way, you guys did tell me. So in the original version of the game, that mask was not there. It was actually with the, uh, the, the teacher, the joy teacher for like giving her like 20 or 50 or something like joy pendants. And originally what was actually down there was just a heart piece, which I will say that's definitely, it's definitely better to have a reward that was more unique for how fucking ridiculous that, that ch gauntlet challenge was. I mean, it still wasn't great because it does feel like an item that you should get like relatively early. And it also makes you look like an asshole. So like, <laughs> like I don't wanna wear that shit while I'm on my adventure and have to cover up my face. Like Link's goofy expressive face is part of the, the joy of this and it covers it all up. But all it does is show you the HP bars anyway of enemies and it's like super weird. So, but I, but I tell you right now that having the, the heart piece be what was originally down there, yeah, that's a fucking awful reward. It should honestly, it would, it, it would have been better if it was a full heart, but a heart piece, get the fuck out of here. I wouldn't piss this shit. However, you guys even told me it actually gets even worse in the original Japanese version of this game. The reward that you got at the bottom of that stupid gauntlet was actually 10 fucking rupees. I am not joking. That's it. That's the least what you guys are telling me. 10 rupees. Oh my God, dude. This is exactly what I was saying. Like, what if I got to the bottom and that's all it was? I actually, I was just joking about that. I was just joking about getting to the bottom. I think I said like 20 rupees. No, it's actually less than that. Wow. That is a huge fucking middle finger. That's like, again, the equivalent of like getting all the Korok seeds in Breath of the Wild. And what do you get? You get a golden ship. Way to go, dumbass. I really would love to know what the, the mindset behind that is. Just like, like fuck completionist. Haha. -ha. You spent all this time like doing this thing that took forever. Get fucked. Here's some shit. Hope you like it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I really am not a fan of when developers do that. Like, it's one thing, for example, to like make a really substantial, important item be locked behind a whole bunch of collectible bullshit, right? But it's another thing entirely when what you get at the end isn't even worth fucking while at all, other than proof that I guess you did it. I'm much more inclined to give the like player something that is like either completely broken, but also completely unnecessary, or just something like fucking useful in some way. That isn't necessarily like vital to the game, right? If you're, someone's gonna go to that much trouble, give them something that makes them feel like, damn, I I did it. I got this cool thing that actually does something. It isn't just like a big shit to fucking carry in the, my pocket for the remainder of the game. But I will say at the very least, I'm glad they changed that in the, in the American version and then apparently changed it again in the HD version. I can only imagine how many Japanese players were pissed the fuck off from that shit though. Oh my God. I probably would have deleted the fucking game after that or broke my physical copy in half. Like, fuck this game. Ah! But anyway, uh, last episode, uh, Weird Kirby said, can we take a moment to appreciate that a school teacher gave a minor the deed to an abandoned island home with two corpses in the basement? Yeah. Yeah, what's up with that? Were those there before when she when she got the sign the lease for that house? When she, when she originally owned it? Or did they only show up after she owned it? I have many questions. I feel like I should go confront her about it, but I'm kind of afraid what she might say. 
<laughs> That's actually a really funny thought. I didn't even think about that. How insane that was having this like fucking crypt underneath that freaking cabana. I think my happy-go-lucky teacher might secretly be a psychopath. Oh, God. The Weird Kirby's, thank you so much for your hilarious and accurate comment. And it's for that reason you are comment of the day. By the way, you guys did also bring up. I have been bringing up how I have got all this money and it's seemingly so fucking useless. Uh, but you guys did point out, well, I do have the, the magic armor thing. You know, this, this thing I got like ages ago that I kind of forgot about that is essentially like I don't lose HP. I just lose money, which good point. That probably would help me a lot in that gauntlet thing where I almost failed. If I had failed that and I, I suddenly remember that I had this as a backup, I would have slapped myself in the face, dude. I'm so pissed. But you might notice I actually have way less money than uh, I did previously. Well, I decided to do some of the, the really kind of boring shit. For example, I went around and it turns out you can actually trade for more things than just those three plants that I got and the pinwheel or whatever for the merchant guy. There's actually way more things you can actually trade for. I went and looked it up and you have to, you have to go in like a specific order about which merchants uh, you go to and what things you give them, but behold, check it out. So you get the three plants, you get three little flaggies, uh, and then you get some skulls, a pinwheel, and another weird flag. And then these things, that little lady is like a fountain thing, a Rito statue, and then finally a golden statue of the main man himself, the merchant dude. And I've actually already gone around and I've decorated the entire town with it. I did. I decided to spend all my money, my all my useless money on doing that. And uh, it looks nice. It looks nice. I did also see a thing that, so I actually put these ones up here, which were insanely expensive. And the reason I did that is that the guy down here, this dude, when he looks up there, he's like, holy shit, is that, is that the merchant? Yeah. Is that, is that the scenario shop master? And he gave me 50 bucks. Which, uh, counting the money that I spent on this, this each of these statues, by the way, is 200 So, uh, I spent, uh, $1,200 on all those. So, yeah, uh, 11 dollars that's a good, that's a, that's a net. We'll, we'll earn that back. I, I think for what I, for what I can tell, it's not like you can actually just keep coming back to this guy, like maybe change the time of day or leave the area and come back and it'll, it'll give you 50 rupees again. I think. Or it's just a one-time deal, and in which case, it's completely pointless. Or maybe I only needed one statue up there. Whatever. Even then, it would still I would still be $150 in the, in the red there. But whatever. Okay, I had this money. Bring a hole in my pocket. I might as well do something with it. Aside from spending it on, you know, armor. But after doing that, uh, this guy over here gave me a heart piece. So uh, that was good. I also went ahead and just did all the treasure maps that I currently had. Just went out and got all the ones that I hadn't uncovered. I think I got like two or three heart pieces and the rest was just a bunch of money. Um, I think I ended up getting at least one more full heart uh, up in the top left. All oh, right, I haven't done this yet. Someone says actually uh, in regards to the windmill up here, I should go talk to the guy that brought it up before after I fixed it. Say hello, man, light in the lighthouse has been reignited. Check out the beam that swoops out across. It seems so sad now, shining through the night's darkness. See that brave beam fighting the gloom makes me so happy. Just feel like giving somebody a present. So here, I'm giving this to you, little man. Hey, all right. Cool. Another heart piece. Now, Windfall is going to be even more lively than before. Hooray for everything. Yay, I make everybody happy. Woo! Help people find some love. Help the boy fall in love with the moon or something and fix the windmill. Make these little kids be less douchey. And they're nice to the teacher. Man, I'm such a swell guy. I mentioned all the decorations, which cost me a fucking arm and a leg. But whatever, it's just money, all right? Oh, right. And then there's one other thing. And I sadly, <laughs> I, I, and I, I wish I could have shown this. I was doing this while I was decorating the town. I accidentally triggered a cutscene for this. And I would have, I would have just loaded up a previous save, but I sadly had done a bunch of stuff before it happened. There apparently is more to that Maggie quest with the the mo the, the letters she sent to Mo you know, which is the Moblin. And I walked in here and one of the Rito delivery guys was in here and he was getting yelled at by this dude right here. And he was just trying to deliver the letter, apparently, I guess from Mo to the daughter. I, mean, he, I guess the old man thought that the delivery guy was trying to hit on her or something. So he kept shooing him away. And he's like, I just want you to sign off on this letter. And he refused, so he left. And I think he's over at the bar, and I'll, I may have to go talk to him, but interesting. So there's actually more to this quest I wasn't aware. It seemed like for the ones where like people actually asked me to deliver something on on their behalf, it seemed like I'd like dropped it off, and then that was it. I wasn't really sure, because I'm not like taking it to the person, and then they like 
send me something to send back. I'm putting it in the mailbox. And then, I don't know. I was like, what, what happens after that? I'd go talk to them, but they didn't say anything new. I think I, I, think I had to make time pass because I actually went in off screen also talked to the, the, the mail guy at the Rito area. I don't think he gave me anything, but he just said, oh, I heard back from my mom. Thanks for the letter you delivered and blah, blah, blah. I, I guess that makes sense. You just have to have time pass and, and then they'll like update their, their dialogue. But I think the, the Rito dude, I think I saw him in here. I, th I think that's you. Oh, it's you. Sorry I had to witness me fly off the handle like that over at Maggie's house. I'm most embarrassed. The man just... Never mind. To tell you the truth, though, I came to deliver a letter addressed to Maggie from a Moblin named Mo. But as you saw, the girl's stubborn father won't permit me to give it to her. Really? The Moblin is... wrote a letter? Hello, I think you are cute. I are single. I hope you go out with me. Here's my number. Please call. What a stubborn, meddling old man. If he's accept letters from a postman, who serves such nonsense? What a great trouble to go all the way to Forsaken Fortress and was most frightening ordeal, let me tell you. If I don't deliver this letter, then I'm a failure to deliver its raid. But I have other deliveries waiting for, to be made. I cannot mope here forever. Actually, though, I have an idea. That old fool may not permit postman on the premises. But surely when I, he would allow you in the place, would he? Not? Could you deliver this letter to Maggie in my stead? What do you say? I'll do it. I'll see you, young man, or a lifesaver. It truly never hurts to ask. I shall leave this letter in your care. All right, cool. I'm gonna read it. I wanna see what the hell this shit says. This letter has a sort, has a sort of stink to it. Take it to Maggie. It's gonna be like a, <laughs> me give you gift. It's got like a dead bird in it. A dead Rito. I'm counting on you to put this in Maggie's hands and I thank you. Is there any chance I can read this? I don't think I can. Takes a, ah, damn it. No, that'd be wrong, right? That'd go against the, the postal code. But I want to. I want to see tell the hell a says. Can they even, like, can they even write good English? It'd actually be real funny if it's just a bunch of guttural sounds. Like, Haha, <laughs> 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 old man. She's going to get it after all. Hey, oh, by the way, do you like the skulls that I put in the corner there? Don't you love how they move around so full of life? By the way, don't feed them after midnight. Here you go. <laughs> is, is that, could it be the letter from Mo that I saw in my dreams? Let me read it this instant. Um. This is Mo. I like you, Maki, so much that I want to eat you for dinner. Uh oh. I don't like where this is going. Did you hear that? Those words. This means. I mean, it must mean. Can it be? Yeah, it's gonna kill you. Is this his marriage proposal? No! Am I doing this? Am I doing this, poor girl? It must be. Unless my feelings have been conveyed to Mo. At last, he understands how I feel. This is the happiest day of my life. Truly, doodly, 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 from here on out, today will be the anniversary of true love for me and Mo. I want to completely slip my mind. I must thank you for your role in this. To remember my, anniver my anniversary of true love, I give you this. Yay, I got a piece of the heart. Get a piece of the heart now, baby. <laughs> Julie, do treasure it always. Oh, that mo just adore most messy handwriting. Ooh, do you la la? So dashing and wild and dangerous. We never riding tomorrow. I travel. No. To where well waits for me. Oh my God, she gonna really wait? Oh, we gotta see this shit. Did I hear anything about this? No. Oh shit. Is she actually gonna leave? And then she's gonna go and fucking die? Get eaten alive or something? Hold on, we gotta see this shit. What have I just set into motion? Okay, next day. She's joking, right? There's no fucking way she actually did anything. I don't believe it. She definitely wouldn't it wouldn't do it. It's just her, it's just her spouting off a bunch of random nuns. Oh! Oh, she she didn't. Oh. When I think of my dear father, I lose myself to leave home. He's so infatuated with money and precious subjects, I'm quite precious, you know. But I, I guess I just have to stay here with him. By the way, Lenny has been so obsessed with some kind of strange necklace. Oh, yeah. I never actually showed that to him. Wait. Oh, okay. So is that it? I guess that is it. Did you forget about him? Or did she just decide I can't leave him behind because he's so fucking crazy? Okay. I, love her I actually was really thinking she was going to leave. And then she's going to end up either back in jail or just like deceased right the whole thing with the the necklaces I got, a, oh, I got more than a few of them here old man want 20. yeah this one of the skeletons is my daughter maggie back with the first egg of fortress 
This is quite well at antique shops. In fact, it was thanks to these beauties that I became so filthy demon rich overnight. Yeah, and that, for the look of it, so I'd say you have about 20 of these, don't you? These aren't easy to come by either. Frankly, I'm amazed you found so many. <laughs> I'll be bathing in money yet again. The money bath. Ah, holy bath, I get you filthy, filthy, dirty, dirty, dirty rich. All right, boy, give me this a tip. I'm not thanking you or anything. I'm just feeling good today. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's quite poor myself, you know, at the start of the game. Where was that, like 14 episodes ago? Back then, I used to dream of owning a boat. A boat I could go off and search for treasure. Yeah, I've got boats. <sighs> I love boats. Oh, really? Yeah, but uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to bore you or anything. But you know, if you do want to hear about it, anyway, anyway, I got it. And now look at my filthy richness. Chase your dreams, little urchin. Ah -ha -ha. Thanks. Wait, did I give him all the? I fucking did. I gave him twenty. Money for this. Money for that. Little money over there. Money over there. Money, money, money. Ah, money makes the world go round. Blah, blah. Five minutes after Link left that day, that old man died of a heart attack after being so joyous over all that money. Twas money that killed the geezer. It's like poetry. He was not missed. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I got all the other ones up to this point. Where this be at? No, it's number two. Uh, right there. Yo, were you gonna say the princess or whatever already? Hold on, hold on, I gotta do some more dumb shit. You know, she's probably dead at this point. It's fine, she'll understand. Will she now? Just like your sister understood? Yeah, totally. I believe at this point though, I have like four or five figurines left. Man, I assume I can get them here towards the end of the game, but you guys did also tell me where the cutoff point is. Oh, also, I, I kind of thought today would actually be the last episode, but it might not be based on what you guys are saying. So there's at least like three hours potentially left in the game, which is uh, a lot more than I was expecting. Kind of just thought I'd be like, I go down there and like maybe have a fight a few few guys and then the final boss fight. So I might still have at least like two left before that. Let's go grab the booty. Give me a heart piece. Give me a heart piece. I don't need one more to. Felt my, uh, fill another heart here. I think. Yeah! All right! Cool. Now, I'm not planning to get every heart piece in the game. It's just gonna take too long, and it seems so unnecessary in this game. The hardest thing I've come across was that gauntlet, and it's just because it just went on forever, all right? Kill, like, probably get 300 fucking enemies. Oh, wait, there is one thing I can do, and I might as well do it, all right? Because I, I spent all this time getting it, might as well do it just to be super duper ultra complete you say that but you're not even getting all the hearts for your hp bar no that's too complete all right that takes way too much time it's just not worth it i'm not doing it yeah you say that now i'm not i'm not gonna do it but i will do this other completely pointless thing give this guy the blue uh the blue slimes i got got exactly enough hey check it out dude yes is that could it possibly be did you mind just bring me two jelly Mm, oh, that's extremely rare. Color of true jelly, perhaps new breed. And true jelly, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yes. Oh, wait for it, here it comes. I'm nutting. Here I come. Ah! Oh! That's it, that's it, that's it. I was looking for a sudden burst of inspiration. Eureka. All right. It's been 10 years again. My now legendary size of true jelly. I've been mixing the new potion before my first. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. You, you, get the, you get the idea. So I assume this is going to be like basically what the the grandma soup is except just not as good but it will probably heal my hp and my mp i doubt it will give me the double attack power though and i won't be able to use it twice it is ready at last my new chew jelly concoction it's still popping out i want you to have the first batch my fellow jelly connoisseur blue potion uh life energy magic power yep la dee do i've been experimenting screening and gripping avatars with my new potion come back anytime and just with that, this guy's lifelong journey of making some weird jelly potions is complete. Look at me, just making all these dreams come true. All right, I think we're good to go then. Let's uh head off back to Hyrule Castle. Oh, God, thank God. You know, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of bad about leaving that girl in the basement for like, what? How long's it been? I don't know. Days? Weeks? Months? Shit, we really gotta get back there. I don't think I left any food in there either. Or a bathroom. Oh, fuck, she's gonna be super pissed, right? Yeah, she's probably gonna be pretty pissed. All right, back to the Tower of Gods. Now what? Now we sink down to the bottom of the ocean, you and I. 
Go to Davy Dunes locker together, Link. Wait, what the fuck? That's right, we're gonna die together. This journey has led to this ultimate moment where we sacrifice ourselves to save the world. Are you with me? No! Good, I guess I'm just fucking with you. Anyway, well done. You must show the tribe war space you have assembled to the gods. Do it. Okay, so hold the triangle up. Yep, hold it up there. Have them get a good old gander at it. Yeah, look at that. Is that? Yeah, triangle powers. Cool, right? I guess. Oh, oh God, it's burning my hand. Oh, what's this? There in your hand. The Triwars piece now dwells within you. Way to go. You are now officially Link. But I've always been Link. Yeah, but you're like official now. You are now the legendary dickhead of time or something. It is the Triforce of Courage, proof that you are indeed the true hero. I knew it. I didn't. You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the motherfucking gods has been bestowed upon you. You know, so use it wisely. Don't spend it on, like, fucking more side quest bullshit. You say that, but you know. No, don't do it. Surely from this moment on, you shall be known as the hero of winds. Really, wind? You're gonna be like hero of time? Time is cool. Wind's cool. Link, hero of winds. Go forth to Hyrule, to Zelda's side. Huzzah! All right, here we go. <laughs> My kind of little triumphant toot to toot, toot there. Wait! Man, I've never gotten a tattoo before. I don't know if I want to show it to my grandma. She's probably super mad. Yeah, don't show it to anybody, all right? It's supposed to be like super secret. And also, I technically don't actually have a license to have given you that tattoo. What? That ain't gonna be a look, all right? It looks good on you. It itches a lot and it's bleeding. Yeah, but it looks good, right? Is it gonna heal up, right? What do I look like, a doctor? Are we sure you're really the king of Hyrule? Yeah. Totally. Absolutely. Really was the king. Definitely wasn't overthrown for being a shithead ever at any point during my reign. Oh, okay. That's very, that's very comforting. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, don't go looking up any old news articles or anything, all right? If you do, it's all fake. So is this thing actually visible? Can I see it? Uh. Oh, it's not even there! Did it actually, like, stay there? I guess it may only, like, happens when I'm like in the middle of some stuff or near I don't know Zelda or Ganondorf or whatever I thought it would just actually stay there I can't remember if, if it stays there on the other characters though either to be honest alright I guess I have to wait for it to resonate hee 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 ha 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 oh no ah uh, Link you finally come back ah uh, no! Old, previous, outdated Link. You can't die. It's okay, Link. It's okay. You're gonna pass on my great legacy. You're gonna fight for my right to fucking exist. I don't know, man. I don't know if I show up in anything else after this. Yeah, you show up in, like, I think some DS games or something. It's not 3D, but it's close enough. Oh, man, really? Well, hey, at least you get a three games. I only got two. And you don't have to worry about the fucking moon crashing on you. Right, the moon doing what? It <sighs> doesn't matter. Whatever. Just go play Smash Brothers, all right? That's clearly all you're good at. Toon Link. Anyway, I'm going to die now. Blech. I have some very conflicted feelings about this guy. So is Zelda not here anymore? I feel like she might not be here. Oh, wait. He's right there. The thing was busted open, though. Oh, right. That. Oh my god, you're finally back. I've been so bored. Oh gosh, you're gonna turn around and have like gain in space or something? Oh, oh never mind. Stop! Broke ya. <laughs> you have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish boy. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I have taken your precious Zelda, and here you shall fall into eternal slumber. Ah, crap. What the hell? How'd you do that? 
Where did that fire come from? Hey, I think these are Doom Dark Nuts. Thank you. I needed their pictures. I appreciate it, Ganondorf. Wait. At least I... Ah! Assume they are. Hold on. Wait, wait. You guys got to pose for me. Oh, shit. Pressing the wrong button. Oh, my God. Hold on, guys. Hold on, please. There we go. All right. Ow. Ow. Bitch. Ugh. Yeah. Ha. I can still put, knock off your armor from the back just like everybody else. Pokey in the butt. Pokey in the butt. How the hell did Gandorf get all this fire set up while I was gone? Man loves his pyrotechnics. Ow! Okay, this is actually doing a lot of damage. Better heal the ow. Let me go ahead and run to the fire for that health. Ah! Ah, my clothes! I'm naked! Don't look at me! I'm very self-conscious about my body! Yeah! 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 Behold the true power of the Master Sword. Yeah. Yeah, it's that backflip. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Please die. Okay. How do I turn the fire? Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. I've run out of propane. Wait, hold, hold on. Hold on. Don't go anywhere, okay? I'm going to refill the fire ring propane real fast, okay? Don't, don't, don't leave. Don't, don't go anywhere. Oh, don't worry. I won't. I'm just going to hang out right here. Okay, okay. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I actually waiting? <laughs> okay, can I? Ah, uh, stupid fucking crash bandicoot electric walls. Oh, oh, no, it went away. Oh, okay. Yay, now I can go out and play Ocarina of Time. In theory. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, never mind. No, I can't. Uh, so now what? Oh, holy shit, that actually worked. Oh my God. I was just making some shit up. Cool. Oh, get out of here, weird goopy shield. Stupid plot shield. Neat. Okay, now what? I'm in uncharted territory. I think it's is this, this is gonna look exactly like the Ocarina of Time area. I think it is. It's definitely looking pretty familiar, which is kind of neat, actually. Not time for you weird floating spinny things. Holy crap! These guys are like, holy shit! Wasn't expecting you would actually get out of there. I've grown far beyond your mortal plane, you stupid moblins, goblins, or balkalins, or whatever the heck you call yourselves anymore. Ugh. Eh, eh. Look at this cool guy. Uh, uh. That works. Damn, he's using the basics of CQC on me there for a second. I guess the hook shot? Yes, sir. Whoa! We're going to go into town. It's going to be like da 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 da. It's going to be like two men gaily dancing together. Ah, uh, I hope so. Oh God! Now this now this looks different. This isn't the Ocarina of Time I heard so much about. Or Ocarina of Time Town, I that is. Ooh, big old weird looking pig Ganon. Ganon's Tower. Ah, so we actually do get like a final dungeon. Cool. Ah, okay. I have a distinct feeling I think I know this is gonna go. So we're gonna beep each of these, right? And then uh, the way to the end will unlock. Hmm. But it almost makes you think this might very well 
uh, lead me back to refunding the those bosses. Like I thought there would be. In which case, uh, we're going in a clockwise from left to right here. Because that, that one I think is actually the most recent. The wind one. Yeah, actually, I think it, I think it might be. So we'll start with this one. Holy. Getting hot in here, boys. Okay, so I can swing and then there's that down there. Oh, hey. A, fa a, a fairy. Don't mind if I do. Ow. Okay, I gotta... Wait, can I actually reset when I get down there? I guess I must. But go up here, swing off, and then use my leaf to... Okay. Uh, uh. Uh. Okay, stop. Holy crap. Actually, can I just hop to the top up here? Yeah, and then there we go. That works. Oh. Uh. Yay. I gotta fight you again. Oh, hey, I lost a... Uh... Oh, interesting. All your items, but the things that you need is gone. There we go. Yay! I see. That way you can't just cheese us with something else, right? Ow. That music's all fucking weird. Oh, that's right. I have to um get up above. Yeah, do this. Oh! Roar! Bonk. Okay, then do it again. Bonk. Once more. And now you can't blink anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Booyah, baby! Woohoo! Alright. That's one. All right, next up, I believe it's then flower boss guy. Oh, yep, and I gotta make use of the, all the things that I got for, that sort of relate to each of them, right? So now the wind leaf. Whee! All right, those stupid spinning guys were gonna hit me out of the sky. Ugh. Oh, some gnarly music, man. Okay, now I've got the grappling hook, the leaf, and the boomerang. It's kind of funny how it does that. It's such a, like, balance the these fights. All right. Got you now. Woo. There we go. Now, whack, whack, whack. Yeah. Ah. That's right. Stay too long, he'll do that. It's okay. I didn't do, like, much of any damage, though. Yep, there we go. Damn, did in two, uh, two phases. That was fast. Okay, I think with this actually, I think there's only one more picture that I uh, that I need. I don't know if it's the final boss. I wouldn't think so, only because I don't know if there's any way you'd be able to, to actually take that picture back. Unless it was a new game plus, but you guys said new game plus is uh, not necessary to complete the pictures, so. Oh God. Uh, not nah, screw it. Just gonna go. Roll, 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 roll. Okay, roll it out. Bow. Roll, 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 roll. Uh. Oh man, do I gotta kill dudes? I think I might have to kill these dudes. Oh yeah, fairy. Crap! <laughs> she faced into the wall. Is there light? Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, I have to get... Yeah, I have to get one of these guys. Get over here, you big slime. Yeah, whatever. My controls reverse. Think I give a shit? Shit, no. Don't throw it. There we are. Ow. Ow. 
And once again, with feeling, ow. Rolling, 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 rolling. Don't mind me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't you freaking look at me. Oh, what the hell? You were here two seconds ago. Nah, screw you. Oh, ha ha. Oh, at the last possible moment. That was close. Just gonna nope my way out of there. All right, time for... Oh yeah, this dude. Do -do -do. I guess I'm not gonna be finding the big hand thing, which I guess makes sense since he was just meant to be like an actual like challenge by the gods, right? Not an actual like menace or anything. I wanna try doing the this move this time. Yeah, that definitely helps. Actually, a lot. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Don't let me go through more than three cycles. All righty. No moss. Okay, launch me. There we are. Oh God. Okay, and then hook shot. Oh God, the sandworm again. Oh, but they're not playing his sick, uh, his sick beat from last time. Oh wait, no, it is actually. It's like a, actually, it's like a remix. Yeah. Go. Yeah, still got Saria's uh, theme light, like her light motif in this, which is uh, kind of neat. I guess because it's the the Korok, Kokri side of things. Unless the war Saria turned into a big worm or something, which would definitely have some weird war implications. There we are. All done. I win. Roar! Okay. I don't know what we're going into here. Oh man, it's just looking like the Mario 64 un unending staircase. But I seen into this one and it is nigh. Like Bill Nye. Oh shit, is this it? No? Wait, there's more? Huh. Okay. I guess that's the next thing I gotta break. Uh. What we got going on here? I see something written on the floor. Do I need my boat or something? Oh, hey, no, I, I see that. Yeah. Uh, didn't do anything. Man, a weird order here. Oh, it's hella fast. Oh, it's the order of enemies. Yeah, I see, I see the enemies up here. So like this one first plant. Well, I, I did it though. Left, left to right. It's the same, I think. Well, actually, technically it would be the fat guy first, but, um, uh, uh. Uh, uh. I mean, Grant, you could do the other two in any order. No, he's gonna swim off the side here. Or not. Huh, not sure. Let me check the other side. Oh, oh. Hey, all right, no, there is an order to it. Hey! Can you figure out this really hard puzzle? Link, you must remember well the pairs to this room. Show over the floor, the number of items hanging on the wall. This thing's one of the keys to solving the riddles that lie ahead. Don't look ever look at anything, all right? You don't spoil me, bro. Give me like at least two seconds to figure it out myself. 
The sword hilt of my servants who lurk deep in the darkness shall be the guideposts that point to me. Sword hilts. Well, anyway, that's one. That's two. Three. Four. Okay. Okay, game. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yes, I, I see it. It's even... Wow, it's even giving me the order. In case you're that stupid, apparently. Yeah. I actually don't think I could have sold it before, even if... I think I had to actually, like... I mean, granted, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't have been able to know, but I'm saying that, like... Oh, hey, look, I'm here. Hey. Hey, what up? Back from the dead. But, like, before it e even... I, I tried doing it, like, one at a time, and every single one, like, they would just flicker out immediately, it seemed like. I see. So this is the portal through which Ganon was able to seep into the unsuspecting world above. Shit, let's just go in there. We, we shall make use of this path this path that Ganon created for himself. If there's anything from the world above that you believe you need, then climb into the boat and enter the column of darkness. Oh, okay. So let's just let me fast travel out of here. What if I go this way? No, don't go that way. What's over there? Nothing. Really? Well, why, why, you, why can't I go over there then? No, don't go over there. No, no, there's nothing cool. No, don't go there. Why? Why can't I go over there? Because I let a big deuce over there, okay? I don't want you to go see it and judge me. Big deuce? Wait, does that mean you just dropped the cocaine out your ass? Yes, I dropped the cocaine and it's in the water. It's an effect of the fish. We gotta get out of here before this, before this shit washes over here and fucks us up too. All right, well, I'm gonna let you deal with that. No, no, I gotta let go back. Let go! Ah! Okay, so I did that. That lets me leave, but what now? The sword hilts of my servants who lie deep in the darkness. I get it. I must do this or not. Oh, wait. Never mind. It did work. Oh, fuck me. Whoa, getting crazy. Hey, look, the sword hilts of his servants. <gasps> Pick it up. Mine! Ha ha! So this shall point the way? Point it away. Maybe like a door will light up if I... Oh wait, did I have to look about who... I think I had to look at who who left. I, I have to see which one of them... Oh, I think I picked... I guess I picked the right one. Go me. Yeah! Uh, ow! Oh god, that's interesting. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, I don't think that's right. I just guess. I think I guessed right the first time, but hmm, holding the sword doesn't do it. It's like just holding it will get me there. I don't know, man. I'm like trying to figure out how this shit works. I'm like throwing the swords at it. How's this thing supposed to point me in the right direction? Trying slashing. Like literally I stumbled on it before, but it really didn't. I thought it was just like, okay, which, whichever one of the, the ghosty dudes spawns in and then like the, the direction that he's like standing when the other ones disappear is where it goes or where he moves when he shoots the, the light balls at you. But it, that does not appear to be the case because there's actually too many, by the way. It was like, there's like six that spread in. There's four doors. I guess right, I guess. No, I guess wrong, actually. I think. Yeah. Shit. So this time it didn't actually send me out. It sent me to a group of dickheads. Fairy, heal me, please. Oh, he, fairies actually don't heal you all the way. I didn't realize that. Doodle -doodle -doodle -doodle. Congratulations, you passed the thing that that was caused by your failure. See if you can't fucking figure this shit out. Maybe... Maybe you have to... It's based off... Fuck, I got it. Is that based off of where it fell after he dropped it, or... Is that all it is? I was trying to drop it myself, but it didn't seem like it was doing anything. It wasn't like it... It would always point in a different direction. I don't know. I'm gonna need to 
I'm gonna need to do at least one more time be able to tell if that's even if that was even right. This seems like it could have just been another lu a lucky guess here. Oh, that did kind of fall a weird direction though, didn't it? But when I pick it up. Oh wait, that time it did. No, that time it points that way. Well, let's see. I think it is. I think it's only after he drops it though. But if I pick it up, I, yeah, it gets it gets fucked up. Which is why I wasn't getting it till now. And then, yeah, you see it actually turns a little bit on its side, which it does not usually do for me. That's it. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, this way. Ow. I think I went in a circle here. Okay, this way. Hey. Ooh, what we got? Map? Compass or something? Light arrow. When you take out your bow, use ZR to change arrows and then fire away. Fire away! Oh yeah, I remember getting this for actually. Have I had these for all of them? All the times I, I think I, I had this in Ocarina of Time, right? I had this in Breath of the Wild as well. Was not in the Majora's Mask, but I wasn't fighting Ganon in that game. Yeah, cool. Just hanging out down here. The cigar light of these arrows can pierce pure evil. That's cool. Wonder which way I gotta go. Ah, the light. Okay. Well, that's neat. Oh yeah, and then I got, I got the three now. The light on the tip there. What? What the hell? What are you doing over here? Wait, did I? Wait, where the hell am I? Oh, you know, I, I'm back in the main room. Yeah, I'm like, I was like, wait, am I still in the maze? Wait, what the hell? Did he just teleport out of there right before it hit him? You cheater. Do I even need to fight you? I don't. I'm just going to, I'm going to peace out. See, bitch. Uh oh. Wait, am I going the right way? There's no map of this area, so I have no idea. I think I'm going backwards. Oh wait, that's right. It's this weird wall thing. Okay, no, I, I, I do have to do something in here. Probably you again. Wow. What the fuck? Oh, oh, I, I need to. I okay. I gotta use the thing I just got. Silly me. You know, use the literal thing you just freaking acquired. Kingdom Hearts is light. Oh god. Boom. Oh, God. Uh, suddenly, swords aren't effective, but that is. Oh, do I need the sword? Oh, yeah. Uh, sword of Dankness. Cool. Oh, boy. More endless stairs. Oh, God. Another, another dark nut. Yeah, screw that guy. So you guys kill each other. Oh boy. Is this it? Is this the moment of truth and justice? Have I arrived yet? Hey, fairy. Had a feeling. Uh oh. Let's kill you guys first. What the hell? What the hell I gotta do? Arrow light again? I have to kill all the enemies up on the way up here? Ugh. Does that work on you? Oh, wow. That's effective. Ugh. That seems pretty effective. Does that work on these armor dudes, too? Holy shit. Get one-shotted. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Oh, good. There we go. I'm going to go one-shot Ganon with this shit. Okay. Now what? Ugh. 
Zelda's sleeping. I th <gasps> Ganon, the hell did you just like sleep with her? What? You no, calm down, God. Just popping a squad. Do you sleep still? Wait. Do not be so hasty, boy. Boy. Ugh. I can see this girl's dreams. Oceans. 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 Oceans as far as the eye can see. They are vast seas. None can swim across them. They yield no fish to catch. What did the king of Hyrule say? That the gods sealed away, Hyrule away. And they left behind people who would one day awaken Hyrule. <laughs> How ridiculous! So many pathetic creatures scattered across a handful of islands, drifting on the sea like fallen leaves on a forgotten pool. What can they possibly hope to achieve? Don't you see? All of you. Your gods destroyed you! Da da da! I have been waiting for you, boy. For one like you, yes. For the hero. Yeah. <laughs> Do not betray my expectations. Oh boy! Ah! Whoa, that's fucking freaky. Arrgh! Oh god, there's there's my nightmare fuel for the day. Oh! Well that thing's gnarly looking. Oh boy. Wait, can I take a picture of you? Hold on. Wait. I can! Okay. Uh Okay, what are we what are we what are we doing here? I gotta like light arrow you? No? I see a weird pot over here. What is Okay. That does that. Uh, this crazy reflection on the floor too. Bonk. Oh, hey, hey, I hit something. Oh, oh, okay. Knocking the, the rope off. Oh, do I have to wait for his mouth to be open? No? Damn, this thing's really kind of freaky. Best freak kids, kids out when they were younger. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, the boomerang. There we go. Use the boomerang and like I did to cut the plant before. Yeah. Oh, it didn't work. He didn't give a shit. Oh wait, no, they have health. They have health. Okay. Just like the jelly, just like the big squids. <laughs> oh my God, it's just chasing it around. Oh! <laughs> my boomerang gave up. Uh, okay. He's all drooped down now. What now what? Oh, no, he fixed it. Did I, like, miss my chance or something? Is there a little ball there? Whoa. It does look conspicuous, doesn't it? What do I do? Grab it? Light arrow it? Oh! Oh, yeah, it is it. I got you. Because it's kind of hard to get to the tail without getting the other things first. Yeah. I'm like, why can't I just... I, and he's wiggling the tail around so much. It's going to be, like, fucking impossible to just, like, get by, like, aiming normally. Ah, I get it. Ah! Break those things. Boom! Take that, dummy. Huzzah! I don't think that was... Uh-oh. Wait. 
Is he dead? Oh, no, he is definitely, most definitely not. I was going to say, I don't think this is Ganon's final, or the Ganon final boss. I still don't think. Uh, though he does have two forms, which is something. Uh, shoot in his mouth. Or maybe I throw a bomb in his mouth. Ow. Shit. We have a second to do it. I don't know. That is not it. Let me try the arrow again. Maybe I just didn't aim it right. No? Oh, I gotta get behind him. I gotta get to the thing behind him. It's on his ass. He keeps doing the thing with his mouth. I keep thinking that that's what it wants me to do. Oh, hey. Well, what the hell? That time his ass was facing towards me. What did I do differently? I gotta hide. Am I hiding in the pot? I don't know. I'm not exactly how I'm predicting where his ass is going to be. I don't know if the pot has nothing to do with it. it. May just hang out. Uh, oh, God damn it, dude. Ow, fuck. Okay, well, there we go. I got it. It's just me about predicting where his ass will fall. Uh, okay. Lucky. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that works. I guess he just generally has his ass facing this way. But just, he's slightly churning or something. Is he still, oh my God, he's still going? Okay, maybe this is the final boss, Never mind. Ah! Oh God. Ah! Oh boy. Uh... Oh my God. Oh, come on, I had that. Yeah. Can I lock onto it? I can't. I don't lock onto his head. You squirrely bitch. Oh, there we go. 360 no scope, Ganon. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I'm all tired out of that shit. <laughs> yes, surely you are the hero of time, Reborn. I don't know about that, man. This sounds the hero of the wind. Your time has come, and so have I. Come now, stand before me, boy. Boy. Oh, cool. Is this, do I have to climb this? Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, I managed to get a picture of that thing. So, okay. That, that was not the final boss. Wait, can I go back? Oh, wait, maybe the pot over here actually functions now as a fast travel. No. Is that supposed to be like a shortcut pot or something? And I like fucked up. Did I miss like a shortcut pot somewhere else? So now it's not going anywhere because I can't. Maybe I just save and quit. Oh, hey, it did work. Okay, cool. Now we can use this to get out of here and I can go get my figurines. Hey, did you kill Ganon? No, I'm, I've said I'm not doing it. What? Why? Because I have all the pictures. I can complete my collection. That's the whole point. That's the whole point I've been doing this adventure for. The fuck are you talking about? No, we're going to stop Ganon. I don't know, man. I don't remember agreeing to that. I swear to God, if you don't go to Vegan after this, I'm going to be so pissed. Oh, take us back to the Forsaken Fortress. Huh, interesting. That's neat. Uh, okay. Oh, shit, I'm so fucking excited. I've been waiting so long for this moment. At least I, th I think. I hope I hope I didn't miss anything. It's very possible I, could, I still could have missed something. And I might not be able to go back and get it, but we shall see. So, uh, okay, that counts. Okay, the flower counts. Good. Despite them being in black and white. Okay. I am pretty positive those were the last four that I had not gotten. So, 
Let's go wait a day. All right, fulfilled. Hurry up and look. All right, I guess we got to check now. Um, all right, the Korok Forest one is completely finished. Behold, the Rito area is done. Okay. Uh, the, I guess, monster area. Looks to be all finished. Whoa. Wow, they, they, this guy's thing extends the ceiling. Puppet Ganon. Effective light arrows. This gigantic marionette created by Ganon himself. It transforms into three different shapes. All three are vulnerable to rays of light. Rather than shooting randomly at it, try to do so when it will... Can easily be targeted and then take advantage of your chance. Yes, tell me that after I've already beaten him. Oh, yeah, the dwarf. Uh, effective weapons, light arrows, and the master sword. Possessor of the Triforce of Power, Ganon controls many fell beasts. It is useless for Link to try to face him alone. Hey! He must look for an ally who can aid him in battle. Really now? Okay, I got all the ones in here too. Okay, outset area, I believe. Yeah, all in here. Okay, looking pretty good. Even that crab. Okay, windfall uh, village here. Looking good. Okay, last room here. Uh, yeah, I got them all. I did it. So now what? Do I have to go talk to him again? I was talking to him again before. I didn't say anything, though. Uh, well, do you like it? If you do, then go find another great subject to work on. What do you mean? I, I, there aren't any more. What? Do I gotta show you my camera again or something? Dude, I've, What? I did it! I got all of them! Hey, I gotta refresh the area or something. I'll oh, just wait a day again. Oh, hey, he's gone. Magic guy's gone, you know? Yeah, he left one last figurine, took off somewhere. I have no idea where. He left your figurine in the vast ocean room right over there. I have made every last figurine this world could possibly desire for me. I set out into the world in search of new inspiration to guide my hands. That was what was written here. So I guess that means. You're the new master of the Nintendo Gallery, aren't you? Yeah! Looks like you'll be with us for a long, long time. I'll be counting on you, buddy. I'll be here every day. Forever. Okay. Just don't touch my fucking figurines, bitch, or I swear to God, if you fucking do. If you fucking... I pull my sword out, but I can't. But just know I am trying to. Oh, shit. What'd I get? Super ultra big dick golden, like, fucking master sword figure or something? Oh, cool! Yeah, this is definitely it. Oh, that's so neat. It's actually, it's actually really pretty sick. So you get a, once you get them all, you get a link and boat freaking figurine. And you can get the water included. It's funny, it's actually, I, I think I've seen a first four figures figurine actually that's literally exactly like this. I thought it looked super sick, actually. And I had to play through this game and I really like it so much. Now it makes me want to get it even more. Link and King of Red Lions. Outset Island, favorite hand left. The hero of wind, Link uses the Wind Waker to control the wind and sail the seas on his mysterious boat, which is actually the King of Hyrule. Spoiler alert. Surprisingly, he seems to have an unnatural interest in figurines and has the last completed his collection. He is now the master of the Nintendo Gallery. Wow, I did it. All right. That is definitely uh, not something I expected to do when I learned about this, but I did do it. I freaking can say I did it. I collected all the figures and maybe in the end, me collecting all of the figures in all the world isn't really that surprising at all. Let's be honest though. We blink best link, right? Yeah. Heck yeah. I'm the best. Woo, this is my domain now. Now I ascend to the heavens with sweet victory. Oh man, I gotta go right home to my grandma about what I just did. You really are the greatest weeb in all the land. I should have called you the, the hero of weebs. Yes, you should have. Mailbox, I wanna send some mail to my grandma. Oh, hey, what's uh, what's up? You're acting weird. Well, uh, you know, after our last conversation, it uh, kind of freaked me out a little bit. Yeah, looking back, I might've been a little harsh. You think? You point an RPG at me, man. You point guns at me all the time anyway. That's true, but like, that's an RPG, okay? Like, a gun's one thing, but an RPG makes you like super dead. Like dead times 10. 
Okay, I'm sorry, all right? Might have just gotten a little bit of a power trip there. Yeah, weapons of mass destruction will do that to you. But I'm not gonna do that anymore, okay? I think it's time that you and I put this grudge we've had behind us. Let bygones be bygones. What, you mean like I just give you mail and you read it? And then you give me mail and I send it? Like, like that kind of thing? Yeah, like that. Can we do that? Yeah, you know what? I think I'm all right with that. All right, then. Friends? Friends. Mailbox? I'm sorry, you know, old habits die hard and all that. All right, for real this time. Friends. All right, your hand's kind of big, so I'm just gonna shake your finger here. That works. So anyway, you got something to deliver? Yeah, I want to write and tell my grandma that I got all the figurines in the game. Man, I'm not gonna send that weeby ass shit to her. You go tell her yourself. Now, come on. We just got done bonding. Listen, there's two things that I just don't send, okay? And that's weeby shit and Girl Scout cookies. Why Girl Scout cookies? Bitch, that shit melts inside me and fucking makes a mess, okay? Oh. Anyway, point is, you have to go tell your grandma yourself, all right? <sighs> Fine. Wait, Link. What? Here, catch. <laughs> is this a... Uh... Yeah, tag along. Some motherfucker didn't listen to the rules. It's been sitting inside me for some time, but... It might still be good. Consider that my parting gift to you. Gee, thanks. Don't be a stranger, bitch. I'll try. All right, sweet. Did I gotta give you a cookie? Uh, yeah. Sweet, can I have it? You know what? Sure. Yay! Ah. <laughs> Holy! Holy! Whoa! How old is that cookie? How old did you just give me? It's fine. Yeah. Am I gonna die? You'll probably be fine. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow! Oh, dude, I'm tripping balls. What the hell is in that tag along? Oh, God, how old was that thing? It's fine, man. It's fine. It's going to save the world. Oh, God, I don't even know I can pilot anymore. Ah! Wait, Link, before you go, I think it is time that I finally teach you. Teach me what? You know it. Wait, you mean you're finally going to teach me it? I am. I'm finally worthy? You are! Now calm down, or change my mind. Okay. You get that baton out. Okay. Okay, now repeat after me. All right. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Manamana. Do, 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 do. Manamana. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. What the hell does that song do? Nothing. It's just my favorite song. Oh. Guess that doesn't, like, help me defeat Gan or anything? No, I wouldn't. Huh? I don't know. I don't know why I thought it would, actually. It's a cool song, though, right? Yeah, it's, it's pretty catchy. And I told you that because we're best buds now. So pat yourself on the back there, little buddy. I feel very honored. You should. All right, now go beat his ass for me. Will do. All right. Let's go save the princess and my girlfriend. Ah! <sighs> Man, look at me climbing this thing. I'm not even losing my legs. That's how beefy I've gotten. Oh man, this thing's way up here. Uh, whoa, whoa, this just seems precarious. Uh, okay, what am I doing here? Am I breaking these chains? That seems like it would be a very bad idea. Oh wait, no, I see, there's more stuff here. I climb even further. Oh God, even further. Oh, that's what that's for, okay. I see. So it was just for up here. I was like, I didn't think I passed by a fucking uh, pot on the way here. Just a quick travel for getting back up here so you don't have to climb up again. Well, that's nice. Uh, Oh, I see. There's a hook shot. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I think this might be the moment of truth and justice. Trying to see if I'm really the hero of weebs after all. I mean, wind. My country lay within a vast desert. Huh? When the sun rose into the sky, a burning wind punished my lands, searing the world. And when the moon climbed into the dark of night, a frigid gale pierced our homes. No matter when it came, the wind carried the same thing. Death. But the winds that blew across the green fields of Hyrule brought something other than suffering and ruin. I coveted that wind, I suppose. It can only be called fate. <laughs> this look on Link's face. That here I would again gather the three with the crest. 
that I should lay my hand on that which grants the wishes of the beholder. That when power, wisdom, and courage come together, the gods would have no choice but to come down. The power of the gods. The Triforce! He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. Already the crest of wisdom is mine. All that remains. Oh yeah. Oh now it shows up. Damn, cool shot actually here. Yeah. Holy shit, yeah. holy whoa! Ugh, ugh. You just slug me, dude? Ow, bitch! Uh-oh. Do not fear. I will not kill you. Oh, good. I will eat you! Eh, why? I merely have need of the power that dwells within you. Ah, oh, crap! Now, let us put an end to that which binds us together! Uh, sorry, I can't hear you. I think you might have jousted something loose here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! It becomes one! <laughs> Gods, hear that which I desire! Arrgh! Expose this land to the rays of the sun once more! Let them burn forth! Give Hyrule to me! He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. Like Dragon Balls! That is what you said. It, oh, is it not Ganondorf? Wait, oh! It's me! I'm here! Gods of the Triforce! Hear that which I desire, you bitch! Hope! I desire for these children! Hope for these children! Give them a future! Wash away this ancient land of Hyrule! Let our hope, ray of hope shine on the future of the world! Ha, I beat you to it! What the hell? No, come on. Come on, that's not fair. I, I put it together, son of a bitch! And let our destinies finally be fulfilled. Ganondorf, may you drown with Hyrule. You dumb bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Did I hear my boat? <laughs> this foolishness. A future for you. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Ganondorf? You're insane. Oh, cool. Link, I'm sorry I overslept. You bitch! My girlfriend's back! She's got my sword! Think for us, it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. We must return to the world above. Back to our ocean. Heck yeah. Thank you. I love you. Very well then. Allow me to show you. Holy shit! Your future. Yes. Allow me to show you just what hope you have. See how much your precious Triforce is worth! Ah! Oh god! I'll use this bow to cover you! Attack him as best you can! Oh shit! 
Yeah, 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 yeah. The counter? Ow, he kicked me. Okay, come on. Come on, you bitch. Oh, I saw... Hey. I'm pressing A. It's not doing anything. They gotta wait. There we go. That's gonna block them. Then he kicks. Oh, there was there was one right there. I may just got a backflip away then. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Grandma, this is for you. Uh, help me defeat the Ganondorf. Yeah. It's a cool fight. Yeah. Ow. Oh, gosh, I think she shot me. My bad. Ow. I'm so drowsy. Oh. Oh, that's it. You are fucking getting out of here. Uh-oh. Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah. Ow. Oh, she's awake. Oh, oh God. All right, thanks, Grandma. Soup's the best. Damn, he's got, he got eyes on the back of your head, my dude. Damn, I'm not getting him anymore. Oh, he, she actually has my bow and arrow, I see. Where's my fucking prompt? Weird, the it's not working anymore. Yeah, he's just blocking everything, even when I leap over him. Look, you have to distract him! You ready? I'll leave for for you! And use your shield! Do you get it? I get it. Okay, do it again. My free shield. Use your shield. Do you get it? Yeah, I get it. Just, just do it. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh, my face! Oh, Jimmy is fucking brain. Wow, that was, that was actually really cool. <laughs> the wind. Just blowing. Link! My children. Listen to me. Wait a minute. Why does your voice sound like that? That sounds like the other thing. I'm modulating my voice, okay? To sound like this, because I pissed everybody off. Oh, okay. Anyway, I have lived regretting the past, and I have faced those regrets. If only I could do things over again. Not a day of my life has gone by without th my thoughts turning to my kingdom of old. 
I have lived bound to Hyrule. In that sense, I was the same as Ganondorf. For you. Oh, hey. Da da. A theme. I want you to live for the future. There may be nothing left for you, but despite that, you must look forward and walk a path of hope, trusting that it will sustain you when darkness comes. Farewell. This is the only world that your ancestors were able to leave you. Lots of water. Please forgive us. You could... You could come with us! Yes, of course! We have a ship! We can find it! We will find it! The land that will be the next Hyrule! So... Ah. But child, that land will not be Hyrule. It will be your land! Cool. Oh, that's so neat. Now we're back. Yeah, the, the entire kingdom has returned to being underwater again. No, boat! I just learned your song, though! I have scattered the seas of the future. Aw. Oh, hey, she looks back to normal again. That's good. I honestly like this design way better. Hey, Kamali. Yay, all our goofy friends. Including Nico. I'm here too. Interesting, there actually wasn't another I was really expecting there to be another form. So I guess in a lot of ways the that puppet Ganon fight really is like you know kind of part of the final boss. Oh good, they're up here too. Good. I didn't just like leave them down there forever. Yay! Yay. Good. I'm glad we got to see them. A car medley. You have to live down in the cave forever. Yay, we did it. The end. Oh, uh, that was really a pretty cute journey. That was a cute ass game. It was actually a really cool ending, honestly. That that whole the, the the final boss itself was super sick. Both the the puppet one and that that sword fight with Ganon actually was like, damn, that was actually really cool. I actually liked that a lot. It was just like a all-out brawl, right? But just the ending itself too was actually really, I don't know, it was very poignant. I felt that was actually, to be honest, I actually felt that a lot of that ending. And the moments, and even with Gandorf himself, too. I don't know. He felt like more of a character in this game than he did even in Ocarina of Time. 
Or it's not great time. It's just more like this kind of like shadowy figure in the back that I don't know. It's just like, oh yeah, he's just kind of evil and you fucking kill him or something. I don't know. Here he's feel like the fact that he like told us about like what he sort of believed in his life and you know what led to this and it was kind of like, oh hey, I don't know. It felt it did felt more poignant at the end, you know. And then the king just is like, like this high rule, this world is like I'm is done, right? Whatever land you discover will be yours, and he's gonna stay down there with his kingdom, right? It's a pretty great goddamn ending, actually. Wow. Might be one of my favorite endings, honestly, of all the of all the Zelda games I've played so far. But yeah, I guess let's go ahead and give my final thoughts on the game. I mean, this game was fantastic. I, I loved it. I, it's a super fucking fun game. I loved the, the going around the boat, going to all the different islands, the exploration stuff. I thought that the, the temples and the dungeons were a lot of fun. I liked all the the stuff that I got, the like the new things like the grappling hook and uh, boomerang. I mean, we've had the boomerang before. What else? What else do we have that we have we not had in previous games? Um, I mean, hookshot we've had, boomerang we've had, heavy boots we've had, leaf we haven't actually. I liked that uh, the the ability to glide. Though I guess technically with Breath of the Wild, literally had his own gliding mechanic as well. That is. Definitely, but the first, this is, I, it seems like it's probably the first game that ever did that, right? Because, yeah, the 2D games probably wouldn't have had that. And Ocarina of Time and Majora, I don't believe had that. I liked the characters a lot, too. I, I, I think this, to be honest, I think this, this iteration of Link, I think is my favorite Link out of all the Links I've, I've, I've played. Yes, that includes even Seven Link, how badass he was. To be honest, like, the whole, like, Taking my goofy ad libs and all that shit and throwing out the window, right? Kokichi Link, you know, Seven Link, Weeby Link, just throw, just throw that all that out the window. Like, like my actual, like true, like feelings on that. To be honest, Breath of the Wild Link just by himself is kind of a like, kind of he didn't have much of a personality to be honest. I mean, it's a little bit. You see it a little bit in the flashbacks, but he didn't have a lot really going on there. It felt like. I think Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask did a little bit more, but again, it's, he felt very reactionary, right? It's just like, it's just more like things are happening around him and just kind of reacting to it. But this is easily the game where I feel like Link has the greatest personality and it was awesome. I, I loved it. I loved his, his expressions. I loved how he reacted to the world. I liked that he actually like had a personality. I loved the exploration with the ship. I liked the... Surrounding characters, supporting cast. I think also I think this might be the best version of Zelda in any of the games. I was a little bummed when they just kind of drop her off in uh in a <laughs> in that fucking uh room for her, like the the end of the game. But I was I love that she came back and like helped me up at the end, right? And then helped me in the final fight too. That that made me very happy. Glad she didn't turn like a damsel in distress. And hey, when she left, she turned back to her regular self, which is great. I think that design looks way better. Oh. But I liked, you know. His sister and his grandma and stuff. I like that. That's that was his family. Oh, hey, we got we got a little more in the end. Oh, hey, I got my boat. Is he still in there? Oh no, he's not. It's just it's just a regular boat now. His eyes aren't. Oh. Oh, uh, I'm gonna leave my sister, and my grandma again. I've already been gone for like a billion years. It's off to new adventures with my fast sail. <laughs> Anchors away! Hold the tiller steady! Oh, look at that, Daddy! That's for our destination. The wind will guide us. You guys gonna go outside the bounds of the map this time? Oh. Gonna go find a new Hyrule. Game will save and make a file for a second quest. 
to keep here and save file select select a new quest log yeah let's do that all right there we go oh wait actually i probably i'm curious is, is the tile screen changed at all no it doesn't look like it i thought the music in this game too was really fucking good definitely better than breath of, breath of the wild has pro that's probably one of the weakest parts of breath of the wild is that the soundtrack is pretty non-existent i mean of course ocarina of time has a classic soundtrack majora's mask also has some fantastic music but i really did enjoy the music of this game it's very kind of jaunty sounding you know yeah it was good so what are my critiques though because i do have some i will say out of all of the zeldas i played this is definitely the one that felt the most like it had some development issues right like this one i i actually noticed even even outside of the things that you guys had mentioned to me like the first thing i noticed is when i like i got the the third pearl right and i didn't really have to go through any dungeons like I, I went and went to the town got on the ship got the ability to get bombs went and bombed the wall and i got it and i was like wait that was it like that that one i mean go that this was like something was missing and then similarly the triforce hunt that one also felt like honestly like i I don't think, I mean, obviously what I'm playing is a much better version than what you guys got. If that was, if that was the version I was playing here, I would be seeing a very different tune. I would be like, that shit was fucking awful. That said, I still don't think it was incredible. The actual Triforce hunt part. Like, I don't mind it going around exploring the world for, for treasures and stuff, but it felt like, again, part of it was missing. It almost felt like there should have been three of those temples, right? And again, three for like, forming like three sides of a triangle. And I think that you guys mentioned that that was also something that was considered like, so you guys even said that it was potentially going to be even two temples for when getting that Faror Pearl, right? Like one for the bomb and one for the pearl. I don't know. I mean, I don't think I need two more there. I think that would just need at least like one more dungeon there. And I think the, the Triforce Hunt needed one more temple there, you know, to sort of feel right. And honestly, I personally could have done without the getting tingle to 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 look at your shit and then go dig it up somewhere i really could have done without all of that i think they probably could have left in the the ones where you just go to random islands and then go through like a little thing there like that was fine but yeah even with even with the uh the restrictions vastly improved here right where you just only have to honestly pay for like three of them and not all of them even with that it's still like i still thought it was like eh, this is kind of weak i also thought some of the the gauntlet stuff was a little like feel kind of patty right like yeah you gotta go through just waves and waves of enemies and i don't think the the combat in this game was amazing i, I don't think any of the combat i mean to be honest the combat in most of these zelda games has never been like it's i feel like the strong suit's always been super simple but that one apparently i mean w w i even felt the first time through well even not just like including the when i had to go back through it a second time right just game going through like 30 floors or whatever it was to, to get to the Triforce piece was like, damn, dude, this is so, it's not hard. It's just kind of dull, you know? Because it's just not not a whole lot to the game's combat. I do hope that one of these Zelda games really does actually go in on that. I, I don't remember what Twilight Princesses was like, to be honest. I can't remember if that one did combat better or not. But I just feel like most of the ones I have played at this point have been pretty basic in its actual uh, implementation of combat. I don't know, maybe Tears of the Kingdom, when that comes out, will also, will have like an improved combat. I hope so, I do. It's not, again, like the combat is bad. It's just, it's, I think, I'd say it's pretty basic and it's, it's functional, right? It works, but I do find myself getting a little bored of it after a bit, especially when I'm have to, when I have to do like a bunch of fights back to back. I also think the whole like economy aspect of this was a little all over the place. Like money did feel pretty useless throughout this game. I get that a lot of this is a leftover aspect of what was in the previous game, but what that version was in the previous game right wasn't good either because <laughs> the whole purpose of it was just to get money to give to tingle you do have some things to buy like for example the uh helmeted uh beetle to get some expensive items the auction house but there's only a handful of items there right like really it's just not much in this game to actually like spend your money on or to fix it feel like there's a reason to get all this money except for paying for tingle which is a kind of a shitty like you know reason and as such, money felt kind of useless, and the, the actual, like, prizes and rewards of getting these cool treasures at sea felt sort of like, again, kind of pointless. Like, unless you just want to collect them all for the sake of collecting them all, they just feel like, I don't know, you know, I'm not really getting much from this. And I'm trying to think, you know, in a scenario where the money was very valuable, I think that would have... It, it, the, they would have been made that's just so much better. Like, oh man, yeah, I got some, you know, 200 bucks. Hell yeah, I'm like saving up for something. I really wish that there had been more to this game's economy than just, you know, paying Tingle 
and a few, just a few expensive items. Like, give me a really, give me a reason to fucking, you know, want to go out and get all that treasure around the world. I think that's kind of it, though, to be honest. I really think that's, like, the, the, the my biggest gripes on the game. So I think that the game honestly even ended up as well as it did, despite clear development issues. It's pretty amazing. And I will say, I personally think this game looks great. Like, I think this game is aged beautifully. I know I'm playing the HD version, but I even looked back at the older version, and that still looked pretty fucking good. I think it's just got a, a lovely art style that is sort of timeless. I've actually talked to Simmons, and I remember he told me he actually really did not like the art style of this game. But I think, honestly, it's pretty great because it makes the characters, again, very expressive. Link is so expressive. Everything looks like a beautiful watercolor painting that works so well for this, like, ocean world that we live in. Everything's so bright and highly saturated, too. Because I know, I remember Twilight Princess, that game is pretty kind of low saturation in comparison, right? It's darker because apparently people were pretty upset about this game when it was released, right? So they kind of swung the pendulum back the other way, more towards realistic and gritty. But I, I love what this game is. I love its color palette. I think it is a beautiful game. And I think it will honestly always be that way because of its great art style. And it's also unique too. It's not like any other Zelda that I've ever seen before. But yeah, you guys did mention that apparently this game does actually have two sequels. I think it's Spear Tracks and something else. That is actually this link specifically. So I don't know, maybe at some point I'll check one of those out. I haven't really thought about checking out like the, the DS or, or the other like uh, handheld uh, Link games, right? Because there's a ton of those too. Even aside from Link's Awakening, I mean the original, we have the, you know, the remade version, but like, I know there's a fucking ton of uh, Zelda games on the uh, like the Game Boy Advance and DS and 3DS and stuff. Whole plethora of side adventures that I'm sure are still significant, but I've, I've sort of just been focusing mainly on the 3D like main console stuff lately. So, but yeah, I think this was a fucking phenomenal game, and I honestly had so much fun playing through this. And honestly, of course, just like with all the other Zelda games, I also just love these let's plays i love ad libbing all these goofy moments and stuff in there it makes it so so much fun hope you guys didn't mind it too much i really did have a good time with this one so i did a phenomenal job with all of the the edits and stuff for everything and i feel like really helped to elevate this shit to the next level you know really make it feel like a legitimate adventure with link and his crazy <laughs> crazy talking boat and mailbox it was a lot of fun now, I guess the next question is, is, do I think this is like my favorite out of all the Zelda games I've played so far? <sighs> I don't know, to be honest. I think I honestly would probably still say that Breath of the Wild is my favorite so far, to, to be honest. And I know it's funny how I feel like Breath of the Wild as time has gone on, people have really sort of like kind of been hard on that game and I get it, I do. Like I, I do understand why aspects of that game can be incredibly frustrating and kind of stupid like the weapon breaking stuff and the fact that in a lot of ways you don't really get like progression items right like get all that really at the start everything else you get is essentially like increases to your hp and your stamina and stuff but i think what the th stood out to me that that game was just the the exploration and stuff was so fucking incredible right like the definitely like i, mean, I think the exploration in this game is great but it, it doesn't touch breath of the wild's exploration and I don't know, I, I think oh, my overall experience with Breath of the Wild was, I don't know, I, I think it was just a, a bit better in terms of like certain elements of it. I, I don't remember there being anything egregious enough because again, there's some aspects of this I feel like just just scream development hell, right? I'll actually be very curious if Tears of the Kingdom when it comes out has any uh, remnants of that as well because that game is taking a fucking long time to uh, to get done, which makes me think that game is also going through its own development hell. But I think the overall journey, I, th I think I still like Breath of the Wild as like my favorite uh, so so far that I played through. But I would say this is definitely a very close second, like a very, very close second. Then I would say probably Majora's Mask and then Ocarina of Time, though Ocarina of Time is also still great. Like all these games are great, right? This is very much like trying to pick among like nines and tens here. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you all so much for joining me on this. Uh, Lovely adventure through another uh, Legend of Zelda game. It was fun. Finally coming back to actually play one of these after, goddamn, it was like four years, right? So we played uh, Majora's Mask. I'll try to make sure that uh, it doesn't take that long to play another Legend of Zelda game in the future. Which, by the way, some of you might be wondering, then what? which one will it be? What will I actually hop to next? 
So if we're going by release order, right, that would mean that the next game would be Twilight Princess. But Twilight Princess is, like I, I've said before, it's kind of a weird one because that is technically not going to be a completely blind Let's Play because I have t actually played a decent chunk of it. I haven't played it in a long goddamn time, right? And I never actually beat it, so I never saw the end of the game. But I, I can't also say that it's like, oh, yeah, I'm never, I'm not have no, any idea what's going to happen. No, I'm, I mean, there'll be some things that I'll, I will recognize. And, you know, I still remember at least a few characters from the game. So I guess the question is, is that still okay for me to do a let's play of? And for me personally, I'm leaning towards yes. Cause I could also still do again, all my funny ad lib stuff that I've been doing for these, these Zelda games, in addition to the game itself. But I do want to hear what you guys think. Do you guys, would you guys want me to do that? Even if it isn't technically going to be entirely blind to, to do a let's play of Twilight Princess at some point. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about that. I'm sure there will still be things that I have completely forgotten about that game. And that I will just be like, oh shit, it'll be like brand new again. But I also know there will probably be some things in there that I will just be like, oh yeah, I remember what happens here. I don't know. You guys can uh, tell me in the comments, but regardless... Thank you guys again for joining me on this adventure. If you enjoyed this series, please do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. Leave a like to for Sai and all of his work on all these on all these edits. He did a phenomenal job. And subscribe if you're not already. Become a Pinky Penguin aboard the SSLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. I don't think we have any one-offs or anything that I can think of off the top of my head. So I imagine that whatever. Uh, comes next will just be a brand new series. So look forward to that, guys, here in the very near future. And uh, yeah, I look forward to starting a brand new Let's Play, whatever the hell it's gonna be. And I hope you guys are as well. Anyway, guys, uh, as always, till next time, stay classy!